Well, hello, 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 hello. Thanks for joining us on Vacation Station TV virtual getaway. And this portion of our programming is better known as Jeff and Joe in the morning. Uh, I left Joe at home. Not because he's been bad, but I had to, I've been out on the road since early this morning. So I got myself some uh, coffee. Uh, don't tell him, because he'll think I'm cheating on him or something. But I go to my favorite fast stop, because they got the pecan coffee there. It's the only place I know that has the pecan coffee. I'm waiting that way until maybe Weagle Weigel opens up. And that's going to be happening very soon. I'll get you some video on that. Oh, look at those pretty lights. wonder what that is. Ah, uh, we're going in the car wash. Yes, we are. I got my new tires this morning. Oh, I'm very happy. Got my new tires. And man, the car runs so smooth now. Changed the oil, new tires. I'm set, car washed. Uh, I really need to vacuum it. That wouldn't be a bad idea. You know? The sun is out. <laughs> it's loud in here. Being the sun is out, I wanted to get the car all cleaned up because it's full of dirt. The car was really dirty. The last, what, three, four days? Couldn't. Didn't near dare go near a car wash because it doesn't matter. As soon as I get back on the road, everybody's kicking up that muddy dirt. So I said, I'll wait till it gets a little sunny. And it's it's nice. It's just an overcast, but not bad. The sun is out. Isn't that cool? Joe to put him on the roof of the car the other day when he didn't shut up during the car wash. Boy, he would have been really mad. Oh, yeah. It's clean. Very happy indeed. Gotta wait for the little green light. A little green on the right side there. There it is. There's the green light. Oh, that is so much better. I can see out of the windshield. The car is clean. And I can tell you, the um, local constabulary is out in force today. Man, if you're thinking of speeding, you are going to get yourself a ticket for sure. They were on the Wares Valley Road, not far from the Goat Coaster. Man, there's a couple of cars out there, and if you're speeding, you are going to get pulled over and get yourself a ticket. So here we are on Wares Valley Road. I got several places I want to go today. I just uh, I've got to stop and get gas. That's definitely the first thing on the agenda. I can't go very far without gas, right? No, I don't think so. So I'm gonna get me some of that there petrol, and I'll be right back. Okay, so I got my gas. Uh, new tires feel nice and smooth on the car. I know Joe will appreciate it. And um, heading out, heading up uh, into the Gatlinburg area, but uh, I want to go to a couple different places if I can, if time permits me. Man, time, the day has gone by. Uh, I have to admit, um, I got 
to Walmart at 8.30 this morning and uh, got on the list to have the tires done. And I was watching them do the tires, and they, uh, at least the one in Sevierville, very efficiently done. Um, they work as a team. Uh, one guy takes off the tires, another guy changes the tires, another guy balances the tires, and the guy that took off the tires, he gets the tires, puts them back on there. They were done pretty quick, pretty quick. I mean, they work like a, a really well-oiled machine. So my uh, my hat's off to the people at the Sevierville Walmart. And uh, I did, while the tires were being changed, I wandered around. I didn't feel comfortable about shooting video, but I, I almost did, but I didn't. But the, the shelves are stocked. I can tell you this. They brought in so many TVs while I was standing there. I mean, pallet after pallet of all different types of TVs and games and toys and, and anything you could think of. Stock, stock, stock. The aisles were piled full of stuff. So I don't know if the shortage is going to affect. I mean, it's still early in the season. So uh, as far as the holiday season goes. But I'm not really sure if that's going to affect you or not. Sorry about that. That sucks. The uh, i got to adjust the camera. I'm sorry about that. That's not good. That's not good at all. I don't know what happened. I didn't adjust the camera. I don't know. <clears throat> I don't know what happened. I had to shut the camera off. I guess it wasn't... It, it wasn't uh, framing the pri uh, picture properly. And now it, it's doing it. Okay, I'm happy. I'm happy. So heading to Gatlinburg, but uh, I want to take you a couple other places. Because the sun is trying to come out, and you can see it's starting to come out. There is an overcast. But the leaves are really pretty. Definitely. I talked with Miss Marie about our live shows. So what we're going to do due to our schedule... We're not going to do Friday nights and Sunday nights anymore. We're going to do Wednesday nights. Wednesday nights at, um, I think you guys are okay with 7 o'clock. Is that all right with you? Instead of going, wait until 8, 7 o'clock, because she'll be off. We usually don't go anywhere on Wednesdays. And if we do, we try to go earlier, especially if she's off. We drive around. And we figured if we're out and about, we'll try to do live if we can get a good signal just do a live program for wherever we're going to be because we have plans on, on doing some traveling and uh, especially with her new schedule she's not working as much so which I suggested to her I said why are you working so much well Christmas is coming and the kids and I said you know what enough <laughs> enough okay the kids are adults they don't need gifts send them a hello love you and that should be enough you know, after you, after kids reach, you know, once they're like 18 or out of the house, you don't need toys and gifts anymore. They're on their own. They're making their own money. What do you need to be sending them gifts? It doesn't make any sense to me. People get entrapped in this. I've got to send gifts until they die. Why? Why? Have them over for dinner. You know, do, do something like get together with the family. What do you got to give a gift for? It doesn't make any sense to me. I said, if you're a kid, great. You give kids toys, give kids things they need, the shoes, the clothes, and all that stuff. But once you're out of the house and you're on your own, uh, you want to you know, get something for the house, that's fine. Get something for the house. But, you know, for expecting gifts, you know. Oh, I'm bringing you a new washer and dryer today. Why? Why? Oh, because... No, no, no. This is the time of the year that so many people get so deep in debt and they barely paid off from last year's Christmas bills and they do it again and again and again. It's a, it's a cycle of your own battering because you're beating yourself up having to pay all these high interest rates. If you look at the interest rates, 30%. They sent me a card, it was about a week or two ago. Here, look at this, it's a new card at $29.99. I'm not paying you 30 cents on a dollar to borrow money. I'll just pay for it in cash. Then I don't have to worry about that, right? <laughs> Stupid. 
And then most people get stuck into paying the minimums, which, listen to me, if you owe $1,000 and the minimum says $10 a month, you're never going to get out from under that debt. Never. It's going to compound monthly, constantly. You'll be paying it off. That thousand dollars will turn into three to four thousand dollars for something that you got on sale that you thought you got a great deal on, and now you're paying a hundred times more than what you would have if you just would have bought the damn thing, saved your money, right? Don't get stuck in that cycle of debt. Don't get stuck in that disease of wanting more always. Because you're always going to want more. If you have that mentality in your life, I've got to have the new and latest phone. Why? The other one broke? It's working, right? You're only texting on it 17 hours out of the 24. You're not doing anything else. With it. But my friend Muffy Buffy has the new L4000. You know, well, I don't care about Muffy. Obviously, she's shallow. But she's got to have the new pink one or the new fluorescent blue. It's like, why? Because we've been conditioned that we're not whole human beings unless we have the latest and the greatest of toys. Instead of being grateful for what you already have, you're already looking at the new model before the old model has even been a month old. And I know people like that. They go, oh, the new one's coming out. I got to get that. Why? This one's fine. You just you just blew, you know, a month's, uh, a week's paycheck or two weeks' paycheck, and then you got to pay for it monthly, and then the, uh, the care package that comes with it, the insurance. And it's like, you realize that you're being duped, right? But most people go, no, I got to have it because Muffy, Buffy, and Ken have it. I go, well, Muff, Muffy and Buffy and Ken are very shallow people. And you don't need to <laughs> follow Muffy, Buffy, Ken, right? Too many people I see with that, the disease of wanting more. If you're always grasping, always grasping for that, brass ring on the merry-go-round which goes nowhere then the chase itself becomes your jailer you're always chasing that brass ring and as soon as you find one there's another one that sticks out on the next time you make the circle and you want that one i need that one i gotta have that one you never it, it's a cycle that never ends very scary stuff that people get into there be thankful that you're in, you live in a country that's free. We could drive around, even though gas is three dollars and seventy-five cents a gallon for me. But at least I'm not being—I don't see anybody with machine guns on the corner and tanks and people yanking me out of the car. Just be thankful, folks. An attitude of gratitude is always the way to go. I'm very happy. And I know Miss Marie is in, in our nice, cute little cabin. It's adorable. It's got everything that I dreamt about that I worked so hard for. I don't want another one. I've had people, even relatives, say, why don't you get a bigger one? Why? Why do I need a bigger one? It's just me and Marie. Why do I want to take care of twice? I had a house that was over 5,000 square feet. And it was I was a slave to the thing. It's constantly working on it. Didn't even live in the whole house. Five bedrooms. What What do I need five bedrooms for? It's just me and Marie. We never have people over. And that's just not, that's just not what we do. Be happy. You got a roof over your head. There are people who are living on the streets and you're worried about, Ew, ew, Muffy Buffy got a new house. It's 10,000 square feet. And we need 11,000. And then they go out, Muffy Buffy, go out and get a 12,000. Then you got to go get the 13,000. It's, it's sad and it's so shallow. Those, those type of people, no place in my world for them. None whatsoever. I wouldn't hang around with people like that. Wouldn't even really give them the time of day because those are people that usually are users. Those people use you for their benefit. And I'm not into it. Happy I got my place, 
worked so hard for that, and I spent so long, so many years, that I'm, I'm very pleased. And it's just enough to take care of, because I am getting older, and, and I find it really difficult sometimes to do the things that I used to do without even thinking about it. Just, oh, I gotta go do this. I gotta go. Now I gotta really like gear myself up for that, because it, it takes its toll on me. And I told Marie then, she understands completely that we're both getting older, and there'll be a time that I can't do work anymore. And then what do I got to do? I got to call the man. I got to call the man to come and do the work on the house. And it's like, you know, uh, I don't want to do that. I don't, I don't want to do that. No, no. I want to be comfortable and happy with my wife and stop chasing the dreams. I mean, I lived for so many years always chasing dreams. And the sad thing about chasing dreams is there's always another dream. And as soon as you get it, you don't want it anymore. Uh, typically, like a petulant little child, you know, you get your new toy and you go, ah, I want another toy, I want another toy. And you break that toy and then you go get another toy. And it's really a sad way to be. And if that's how you're raising your kids, shame on you. So here I am in traffic again. <laughs> I'm in traffic again. Oh, God. In Gatlinburg, in traffic. These little buildings you see on the right here, these are some of the original older buildings in Gatlinburg. These are such cute little buildings. Um, and eventually, see a lot of them are empty right now. These would be a a wise investment for a speculator. They're cute little buildings, they're log cabins, they have value to them. I'm sure that they they could potentially be on a registry or somewhat protected. Great little place to open up a little bistro, little tea room. They don't need any more antique stores. Um, but these, all three of these are empty right now. And what a great little restaurant, a, a really posh, little place for somebody to open up and people would come to it now granted parking is a premium around here but i know first of all the trolley does come through here and i do know people would come if you had a really good restaurant enough with the fast foods and corn dogs and, and elephant ears and all that stuff a good restaurant that mid to high end get rid of the um the glutton's gorge you know, there's enough of those around here. You put in a nice restaurant that a uh, higher quality uh, clientele will go to, you'll make your money because people will come to you. They'll seek you out. Just a little investment wisdom from Jeff. And Joe. All right, so here we go around the corner. And that took a good 15, 18 minutes. And you can see that the... Um, Downtown is pretty well packed today. Very, very packed, very crowded. Uh, from here I can see there's a huge line at Anakista. I know you can't quite yet, but I'm just looking at it. There's definitely a lot of people. This weekend's gonna be crazy, crazy packed with people. Oh, the line is long at Anakista. You can see that. Gotta be careful here. I don't know where these people are going. Oh, definitely a lot of people. See, they took the pumpkins away from here. Remember right here? It's just a scarecrow right now. They're getting ready to put the Christmas stuff up. Remember, this was completely covered with pumpkins.
I have the windows rolled down so you can hear the sights, hear the sounds. You don't hear sights. You hear the sounds, see the sights of Gatlinburg. I think I need a sip of coffee. That's what I need. <laughs> Always stop for the pedestrians. <laughs> 